Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petruto, and today we're going to make this stand to hold and hide from the electronics in our living room. This is where our TV is and our modem and all of our other electronics. It is a huge mess back there. Ignore the ugly fireplace. This is going to be a future project. This is our cable modem and it doesn't reach throughout the house. So we recently also got the Euro and we have a Google Home over here and there's a subwoofer and I just, we just need to clean this up. It is, it is a disaster back there. So let's head out to the shop and get started. So this is one of those projects where you can cut all your pieces to width and length at the very beginning and I've already done that over on the table saw. I am using walnut plywood which means I have exposed edges and to take care of that we have iron-on edge banding that is made of walnut and some hot glue. So all I'm going to do is cut it to just over length and iron it on. This is one of my most favorite single use tools ever. It is made just for trimming the edge banding. You stick it on there, you squeeze, and you cut. Love that, that's so cool. So I'm just rough assembling things here and I'm going to carefully set that there. And this will be the bottom assembly. And these two holes here, I'm going to cut out some acrylic over on the laser cutter, cut out a pattern on that and have a cloth behind that where the, the pattern will reveal the cloth. All right, so let's head on over to the laser cutter and cut these guys out. We're gluing these pieces in. Just going to temporarily set this piece on top to kind of hold everything together. And I'm gonna put a clamp on here. Decided to go with the dowels for a little bit more structure and strength. Now that we have the bottom part of the assembly all good to go, it's time to add the top. And again, going to drill some holes and then I'm going to use these little dowel pins in here. And so you're gonna see me drill the holes and then to figure out where to drill the holes on the top piece, I'm going to use these little guys and you'll see how they're, you'll see how they're used here in a second, but they're gonna make a little indent in the top piece. So now that we have our dowel centers on there, I'm going to position my top board on here and I'm going to line it up right where I want it. Make sure we're perfect. I think I got it right in position. Tell me where to drill my holes.
without issue. For these top two little wings, I'm going to attach them again with the dowel joinery, but I have these little acrylic pieces I'm going to use as accents for the front. So I need to leave a little lip there to make room for that guy. So I have these two little pieces of acrylic here that I want to glue in place. And all they are is just little accent pieces that are gonna go right there and right there. And I've just mixed up some five minute epoxy and we'll attach them in place. So these are the three pieces of acrylic that we cut earlier. And one's gonna go there, one's going to go there, and one's going to go up here. I went to Joanne Fabrics and picked out three fabrics that I want to go behind the acrylic. And so that'll reveal the fabric. This was my first choice. And then I picked up two more just in case. So this is the one that we want. These guys, they're just going to be Velcroed on my modem is going to sit in here and this will allow airflow through the back and through the front and I can access it if I ever need to. So let's start cutting up some fabric. I've tried this a couple different ways, failed a couple times and found this is actually the best way. using some good old shellac. These feet I picked up from Ikea. They are adjustable. All right, got the Velcro on these guys and they're just gonna pop right in. Get out of there. Get out of there. Ooh. What do you think, Eric? Oh yeah, man. When we moved into our house last summer, we had cable internet installed and we quickly found out that the modem's Wi-Fi did not reach everywhere in the house and that was very disappointing. This is a true story. I'm listening to one of my favorite podcasts and it's called Back to Work and Merlin Mann was talking about his experience with Eero. Merlin Mann is one of those people where I value their opinion and so since it worked for him, I went out and bought a set. This hooks up to our modem. I turned the Wi-Fi off on the modem and now this is the Wi-Fi. It came with two of these. You can get more of them if you need them and then you just plug them in throughout the house and it creates this mesh that gives you Wi-Fi throughout out your house. We have a very odd shaped house because they kept adding additions to it. It's weirdly shaped and it's one floor so it's kind of spread out and instantly our Wi-Fi was 100% better. You plug this in and the app is going to tell you if this is in the right area. If not, all you got to do is unplug it and you move it somewhere else. There's also a cool little nightlight built in. So we have one in our hallway that lights it up. I bought this with my own money based on Merlin Mann's recommendation. 
Fast forward two months later, they contacted me and said, hey, we would like to send you the Eero and have you do a review. I said, funny thing is I just bought one and we love it. So the app is fantastic. It's shown that I don't have an internet connection right now because my internet is unplugged, but it shows all these are all beacons and it shows all the beacons in the house and it shows you who's connected to your internet and what devices. You can, te you can set temporary passwords for guests. You can block certain users. Great if you are a mom or dad and you don't want your kids accessing the internet at certain times. Also shows you what your up and down speeds are, which is super cool. Seriously, folks, if you have internet issues in your house and you have trouble reaching those hard to reach areas, whether it's upstairs or in the basement or in the garage or just around the corner, this is the way to go. I truly love the product. It truly has changed the way our internet works in the house. I would like to thank Eero for sponsoring today's video and I would like to thank Merlin Mann for recommending this to me. All right, so let's get back to the project and finish this up. And then the cable modem will be hidden in there. And hide that back in there. All right, so here it is. I'm super pumped with the way it turned out. It looks so retro. It's so cool. This is one of those projects that you can build quickly in a day. You can cut all your pieces at the beginning of the project and then it's just assembly. Now, if you don't have a laser cutter, you could definitely do this with a scroll saw. You don't even have to do this. You could put pieces of wood, whatever. The whole thing could be cloth, kind of like a, like a guitar amp or whatever. There's so many things that you could do with it with this design. Got a nice little plant as the centerpiece there. It's got the Eero. I'd like to thank Eero for sponsoring today's video. That, and seriously, I'm not joking. I actually bought this based on somebody else's recommendation because we were having internet issues and that fixed everything. And then a couple months later, they contacted me and said they wanted to do a video. And I'm like, heck yes. I don't know what's going to go here. Maybe that's, maybe that's some hidden storage, not sure. Maybe some remotes that we don't use anymore can be hidden in there. The subwoofer fits perfectly in there. And then we got the, the router in here, it can breathe. It can breathe through the front and the back and it hides it. We don't need to see it anymore. And then we got the power supply where everything is plugged in over here. The feet, the feet came from Ikea. So if you notice, all vertical pieces are black and that comes from this plant here. I mean, we might not have the plant forever, but I thought I would, I'd play off of that and have some continuity in the piece. The white of the plant and the electronics, I think looks pretty darn good. Pretty, pretty good. Is that how it goes, Eric? Pretty, 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 pretty good. The one thing I made a mistake on is I glued these acrylic pieces on before adding finish. That was kind of dumb. I should have finished it and then glued them on. So I had to tape them off when I was putting shellac on there. Uh, two coats of shellac, just a nice heavy coat, a and then in some light sanding, and then another a thin wipe on coat of shellac, and then uh, some wax. I don't like my pieces shiny, and so I, I just kind of buff a nice dull look into it with Brie wax. I know you guys are waiting for the second part of the bench video where we add all the bells and whistles and all the cool things to it. That is coming. We're going to shoot that I think next week. And then the shop tour. I'm finally ready to shoot the new shop tour. Uh, I don't have all the shop furniture built, but that's not necessary. I wanted to get some of the tools in here that makes the shop the shop. And so that shop tour and the second part of the bench video are coming out real soon. I'd like to thank Eero for sponsoring today's video. So that wraps it up. We will see you guys next week. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make, make something. <laughs>